This week on Supercars Talk, we've potentially got a driver shuffle and a new set to look at. Welcome to 2023 and uh, welcome to my new set. Uh, we've moved into the new house just before Christmas and um, I've been absolutely flat out moving everything across, setting the place up and uh, yeah, we've got this uh, new, new kind of backdrop behind me in my uh, dedicated uh, office, I'm going to call it. Um, I've got some models on display uh, you can't quite see. I'll maybe insert some photos, but I have a hell of a lot of models in boxes up behind me this is a bit of a, a temporary setup before I get uh, the, the the real kind of setup built uh, for all the models but that is a long-term project down the track for now uh, as, as you can see I've got some of the newer models on display well not really on display the boxes are on display uh, but I do plan on doing some model reviews uh, very shortly with especially these new ones that are sat there um, if there is any others that you'd like to see uh, give, give me a yell uh, send me an email or down in the comments like usual but uh, let's get into the news for this year um, kicking it off uh, could we see Jake Kostecki being replaced at Tickford apparently he got into a bit of an altercation with Scott Pye at the gala awards and uh, they're using this as a bit of a uh, excuse I suppose uh, to kick him out of that seat and get someone better with potentially more backing into that seat um, a little bit surprising that uh, yeah Jake is the one getting shuffled out there so obviously uh, the the replacement uh, Declan Fraser probably bringing more money than what Jake was bringing uh, yeah so looking like there is going to be a shuffle there uh, what from what I heard it was two of the other guys who aren't bringing money along to those seats that were the ones looking a little bit um, shaky I suppose before Christmas uh, but then yeah kind of in in that situation Jake's uh, just he, he he's put up his hand uh, hello look at me uh, please get rid of me uh, yeah so it looks like we will be seeing a Declan Fraser on the grid which makes a bit more sense as to why he turned down the opportunity there with Triple Eight to uh, run a couple of wild cards and the Enduros with them for next season. The other big talking point over the Christmas has been who is going to replace Tanda at Triple Eight uh, in that co-driver role with Shane Van Gisbergen. The rumour is that Tanda was a bit miffed as to why uh, they wouldn't commit to him being with Shane Van Gisbergen, that they were kind of giving him a contract to be at Triple Eight as a co-driver, but uh, they wouldn't specify who he would be paired with, um, which for obvious reasons, Garth wanted to be with Shane, um, best chance of winning and all that kind of jazz. Um, so it looked like uh, Jamie was uh, trying to angle himself into that seat potentially, and that's why you know Garth took the opportunity to go off with the Groves. Um, but the the big one um, everyone's talking about is Richie Stanaway going there makes a lot of sense Shane is a big fan of Richie um, Richie he did a really brilliant job at Bathurst this year especially you know given the equipment and if he jumped into a full-on triple eight car uh, yeah you'd, you'd expect um, very just very solid results obviously probably not going to be at a tandem level but more than enough uh, you know he'd match you, you guys like Moffat and um, yeah probably even cool Third and that uh, yeah th there's not going to be too many more better than him out there uh, a lot of people saying obviously you know Lowndes is still contracted to Triple Eight uh, it to me, it makes a lot more sense for him to be in that super cheap wild card in the third car. Um, yeah, ma marketing wise and everything for that, uh, it just really makes sense for Lowndes to have his own car and then finding a, you know another young gun. Obviously, there's they they have lost their two super two guys, uh, but and they haven't got the super two program this year. 
but you know the, there would be plenty of people putting up their hands um, the, the one that springs to mind for me straight off um, that would fit that bill kind of with the whole Norwell thing and all that uh, Kai Allen um, yeah racing you know in X triple eight equipment which granted it's you know he's going to be in a ZB not a Camaro next year uh, but yeah he, he kind of in the, the little bit kind of in the family there running with the Egglestons in Super 2 so uh, yeah I, I think we're probably going to see uh, a Stanaway Shane Van Gisberg and line up there and um, I'm going to go for Lowndes and Kai Allen already for that uh, super cheap wild card. Sandown is not going to have the sprint qualifying races uh, for the 500 this year. We'll be reverting back more to I suppose what you call a traditional format uh, where they you know just have the normal qualifying session top 10 shootout um, there will be no retro round there either a little bit disappointing I did enjoy those sprint races uh, I, I think that's a format that we could well I, I'd like to see that at um, you know at, at least at another enduro as well I don't want to see it at Bathurst but I really like that where the co-drivers got their own little race uh, as well as the main guys to set the grid because it kind of involved everyone uh, so a little bit of a shame to see that one go little bit of Erebus news just a little um they've signed coke uh, as a sponsor for the two cars uh, yeah is is this a, a big step up money wise or yeah anyway it's great to see that coke will be on both cars there <sighs> Does this mean Pithra is going to be there as a co-driver and who Dave Russell or Jack Perkins uh, gets the boot out of there? I can't see David Russell getting the boot out of there, the job that he has done the last two years. So yeah, uh, Jack Perkins could be on the uh, market to find another co-drive. Um, other Erebus news, they have sold that uh, white Penrite Mercedes to Penrite. Um, yeah, inter interesting turn of events there. It is as it finished the uh, 2015 season um, in the Homebush race with that white kind of classic Penrite livery. Uh, spectacular. I do have the model of that somewhere in this collection. Um, yeah, that, that's how much I like that car. It does also have the, it came with the set of black panels that it raced at Bathurst as well. Um, that was one of the original um, Erebus Mercedes. Um, uh, the Slade raced it in 13, Davison, um, I sat out 2014 for some reason uh, and Davison uh, used it in 15 for the final year that uh, Erebus ran those Mercedes. And to finish off this week, uh, there's a bit of Super 2 news, uh, considering the category is dead according to a lot of people, uh, yeah, a little bit going on there. Um, Walkinshaw Andretti United has announced they're running two cars. Um, Zach Bates, who uh, son of Rick Bates, uh, rallying people will know who he is, um, not Neil Bates, though not not the good one the the other one um, <laughs> um i think rick actually did a bit more circuit racing though than what neil did over the years um he's come from uh toyota 86 and uh trans am so good to see that there and um ryan woods is going to be the second driver uh i think he's come from porsches over in new zealand uh some might say another bloody kiwi um i do have the question where the second wiu super two cars coming from as far as i knew they had three cars there last year obviously the mostert one was sold to the morses uh who could potentially be keeping it um but yeah um and i thought the percat car was sold as well so the wildcard car that uh charter ran at bathurst that that was in there as well but i'm not quite sure where the second car is coming from um and the final bit of super tune news uh three cars from eggleston's already confirmed um kai allen cooper murray and jordan Sini will be running there so yeah you know there, there's five top line kind of cars already and uh, yeah the, the, the series is dead according to a lot of people so that's the first episode uh, down for this year um, let me know which model you'd like to see reviewed first and if there is any out of the collection uh, I've, I've probably got one uh, of it uh, let, let me know and um, I'm, I'm going to be doing a bit more of that kind of stuff this year so keep an eye out for those but until next time uh, I hope you've had a great Christmas and New Year's and welcome to 2023 where hopefully we have some great racing uh, but yeah until next time I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later <laughs>